Okay, this is uh, Dale Ross. We're here at uh, Charlotte Catholic High School in the uh, White Room with Mike Hazel, strength coach at uh, Charlotte Catholic High School. And Coach Hazel, you uh, graduated from Charlotte Catholic 05, played football here. Anything you'd like to say about that? Sure. Um, I was actually fortunate to attend Charlotte Catholic, as you said. Um, some of the best times of playing football and lacrosse and all other sports, and I'm uh, extremely fortunate to be given back to the school and the coaching role now in the, to the school that gave back so much to me growing up and developed me almost on my career path to where I am today. So very fortunate to be back here and um, really enjoying my time here uh, working with these athletes. Uh, before I get into what you're doing here, when you left Charlotte Catholic, you went to ECU? I did. Went to East Carolina, was a walk-on athlete there for two years and, uh, with football. Actually, after two years of football, played lacrosse. Um, so continued my education with East Carolina, and then further after East Carolina, got my master's degree, all in exercise science, from California University of Pennsylvania. Okay, and so that kind of brings us to what you're doing here. You've been here one year? Uh, sure, this, yep. Right? Coming up on my one-year anniversary, August, started back August 2016. Um, great, uh, really fortunate to be working with a program that understands the importance of what is done in the weight room and the off season and the in season and all that. So very, very fortunate to really get my hands on these athletes and mold them into what they're going to be in the future and what they are today. So like I said, it's uh, very fortunate to be coming up on my one year anniversary and have the support from the faculty and the students. They're, everyone's buying into the, what we're doing here and it's great to see the things that are changing and uh, where the program's going. So we started this wanting to let people have an understanding of what kids have to go through, what their, uh, what their children are doing in both um, in-season and then off-season. Uh, development is very important. And so I'd like to get your thoughts on what the importance is to an athlete, uh, to football, to uh, any, any sport that uh, may be coming through here. Absolutely. Um, as you said, there's uh, so much that goes into what we do here. It's not just working with getting the athletes stronger or getting them bigger. There's so much more kind of a new school mentality nowadays to what I kind of coined as a term, the five pillars of athletic development. The number one being the most important being injury prevention. So much of what we do in the weight room and in the off season and during the season really focuses on working on keeping the athletes healthy, minimizing those risks of injuries. Uh, making them play a full season. If the program's fortunate, they'll play 16 games in a season for football. That's a long season. That's extremely hard on the body. So a lot of what we do in here is work on correcting those imbalances or things like that to make sure they can play that full season and minimize that risk of injury. Another thing we do, um, speed, agility, quickness. The saying speed kills, it's so true. I'm a firm believer in strength speed. So a lot of the motions we do in here are quick, explosive motions. Um, third pillar would be uh, focusing on that functional strength of the sport they play. As you said, I don't limit the weight room just to football. Depending on what sport they play, I will gear the program towards them, but all athletes need to be powerful, strong and powerful, so that functional strength is huge. Um, the fourth pillar would be that mental development. Um, being an athlete, it requires a certain amount of mental strength, and you need to have that mental strength to go through a full season. It's hard on the body. It's just as hard on the mind going through a full day of school and practice and games and all that. And the last thing, which is huge, is team development. A lot of uh, programs, you develop those bonds with your players when you start playing in that season. I feel we develop our bond here in the off season, and it continues on through the season, so they have that player to lean on, that shoulder to lean on to pick them up, when they're down, when they're not feeling like practicing that day, they, they have that team commitment, that team bonds with each other. So those are kind of the five pillars of athletic development that I believe are huge to, what, to make what I call complete athletes. That's what we instill with our athletes here. Um, so again, it's just not that old school mentality of just being in here and lifting as much weight as you possibly can for one rep. That's great, but that's not really functional to being an athlete. So we're hitting on those five pillars. I feel we've developed some quality, quality athletes. And like you said, it's not just for football. Worked with almost all sports teams here and all those teams are starting to see those benefits. And that's just uh, making me extremely satisfied. And again, that I have that um, commitment from the faculty. They believe in what we're doing here. So I'm fortunate to have that. Uh I was just sitting here thinking as you were going through everything about uh, 
when you played here and just your thoughts on um, what development, uh, from what I can see, there's more focus now. And it's not just here at a lot of schools about developing athletes uh, physically. And uh, compared to, you guys did pretty well right. without having this kind of development. So right. What, what kind of impact do you think this will have uh, in translation out on the field? The translation out on the field, it's going to be huge. Um, I feel the players are starting to feel it now when we condition them. They're starting to be more athletic. They're more aware of their body and space. And a lot of what we do in here will relate to that. And I was fortunate we did have a strength program when I played, not to the level that it is now. And that's just a test to the industry. The industry is getting more and more competitive. Parents and athletes are wanting to be the best versions of themselves at a younger age. And it's just so huge to have a proper program in place. You need those educated, those certified strength coaches to lead those athletes to make sure to hit on those five uh, pillars of athletic development to not do anything in the wrong way and injure them. So it's, uh, it's growing in leaps and bounds, and I'm just super excited to see what the future holds, both for the program and for an industry standard in terms of strength and conditioning at uh, the high school level. Okay, anything else you want to add? Nothing on my end. Um, again, I'm extremely fortunate to work at a program that understands the value of strength and conditioning, all the different aspects of it, and how it relates to being an athlete on the field, on the court, on the baseball diamond, anything along those lines. And again, I wouldn't be able to do it without my staff. My assistant, Derek Miller, he uh, does a great job. There's so many athletes, and just myself, it would be impossible to make sure they're doing all the correct forms. So having that support staff along with me is so huge. Um, and again, just extremely fortunate to be in the role that I'm in and um, very happy to be given back. He's the product of your work. He's obviously physically changed, and I'm talking about Derek. Yes, he has. Uh, mm -hmm. One thing I always say is in this industry, you can be great, you can know everything in the world, but if you can't get your athletes to buy in, they're not going to change, they're not going to develop. And kind of the saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. So you have to be able to relate to them, get them to push themselves and bring that intensity level and want to get after it. That's what makes it fun for them. That's what gets those athletes to buy in. Then once you see those changes, you have them, you have them hooked. And then once they'll see those differences on the field, it's, uh, it's going to be great. It's gonna, I'm very excited to see how things go this season based off of the new program that we've been doing. All right, Dawson, thanks for your time. Thank you.